Okay, so we're just carrying on with this side now. I haven't finished that yet really. So I um, just want to have another go at it and then we'll go back down onto here. So we're just, just going to do a bit more on here. This isn't quite right here. Um, always when you leave it and then come back to it, you can see straight away what needs doing. Um, it's quite surprising, you know, you think you've left it, oh yeah, it's, it's kind of alright, but uh, yeah, this is why it's good to leave your work really, uh, rather than just keep at it and um, have it come out not as good as it could be. It's, it's, I, I really need to leave things before I think, and when I think I've finished something, I just leave it up for a bit. And I always add to it or even change things. A bit of blue there. I've just added some more blue here to make that look more grey. Just there. I'll probably add, put a bit of white in that. Um, maybe even a bit of grey, I don't know yet. We'll just see, see how things go. There's a bit of blue in here, I can see that. And then up through here, those bits there up there. So, but you can see I'm, I'm leaving, the, leaving the paper. You can still see the paper underneath. But it's all flecky looking. And it's, it's kind of what you want anyway, really. Okay, a bit more blue in here. And there's sort of flecks of blue all through there, actually. It's a bit lilac y. But because we haven't got lilac, we're just going to have to try and make it. So we'll put the blue in and then we'll go over that with a bit of pink and see what happens there. need to try things out really when you mix some colours like this. It's, it's, it's quite fun actually I think. Just, uh, in a way it's even more creative I think to try and make your own colours up as you go. So it's not a bad thing at all. See this has just got to come out a little bit more than this. So I'm bringing this out a bit. I noticed that straight away it wasn't out enough here when I came back to it just now. And well, this is a bit straighter down here, this bit here. And I'm still using the blue because we're going to mix it. We'll, do, we'll mix it with something in a minute. Okay, so we'll try and mix that with a bit of white, I think. I'll get the grey ready. I think we might need a bit of grey. Grey, it's quite light, isn't it? So, in a way, really, you're just now blending that blue with the white. Instead of, you know, putting a blender on it or, you know, doing too much rubbing with your fingers, you're using the white to actually blend in that colour a bit, going over it a bit. You can still see the blue, which is nice. to do that on the edges because it makes it fluffy. And I'll do a bit of white through there. Uh, yeah, there's enough white in there, I think this needs to go through there. Now this, I've noticed this is far too strong here, so we're going to go over that, but leave little bits showing through. This is whiskery bit there. Um, that's flecky, do flecky over there. Um, this is all a bit, that's kind of good stay as it is really. Um, maybe do some white over there. Yeah, that's, that's okay. It's just maybe a 
touch out there. Just looking at this here. needed to be dark so that's looking all right there's a little bit of blue in there i think though just keep it looking a bit more alive than gray and dowdy that's better i think and then this bit make it more smoky looking and these Soften those up a bit. Just that's just right. I think with the blue, it's nice. That's that line's going down there a bit. This here, yeah, it's got to go down. bits in there. We need a bit of yellow in there again, I think. It's a little bit of bright brightness there, kind of halfway down the chin. Just rub it back a bit. There's all these little bits in there that we've already put in. Um, I think it's okay. Just checking to see whether you can see what I'm doing or not. So we'll use the grey on that. And a bit of orange, I think. And we're just looking for this kind of thing. Just a, it's a just different colour in there. That'll do, I think, for now. Maybe a bit more yellow. same kind of thing here. Um, got some more white there. So that's that bit there. So what I do is I just look for the, the shapes and just put them in again. There, that's a little bit whiter there. Then here, got a couple of little, what's that? That, it's very white there. Going into more yellow there. And there, kind of yellowish. And then of course here, we've got lovely white areas. Just put them in quite strong for now. So we know where we're going there. already but of course we've smoothed it over you see even with the fingers it's taken some off um, but I think I don't know should we should we try the colour shaper what do you think what do you think should we try the colour shaper or should we try the sponge or the sticks blending stumps 
tried being light really, can't we? Let's just see how it goes for now. And then we might merge on to some of those things. Let's just see how it goes. Now, we've actually got a bit here where it's kind of coming up here. Um, it's kind of coming in here. Although we've lost it a bit there, um, we can just sort of colour it over and blend it back a bit and get it back a bit there. You know, because this little hair is going into it, so it kind of look alright, just brush it in. Because that's a nice little bit back there and it's lost, I've lost that. So we need to keep that. And then this dark streak there. not as far as this. So I can do for that there. And that's straight. This is straight. Things like that make a big difference. And we've got this little bit here again. roughly for now. As soon as you blend it over it off, it'll look alright. Because, um, you know, these, although it looks like a white mat, this is a white mass here. You can't really see much going on here at all. So we will do much whiter there, but we'll still leave some, a bit of hairy kind of texture or movement there. Get this is going over white. There's, there's a little bit of white on the paper. It doesn't look like much, but it will give it a bit of um, a bit of a base underneath it. Just stop it going too harsh. Okay, then we've got those lovely white bits coming down there. So that's that. We've got another bit coming like that in here. That will do for it, I think. Straight in, across there. See, this is quite straight. So you could, you could it's much it's less strong that line in there. This is much stronger. See, this is where this is where this bit is here, and I think we should just check that. Just roughly, just check it. It's in the right space there. Yeah, can you see that? It's just coming under under the edge there, about here. So it's about here, and yeah. So that needs to come up a bit there, probably. And it, again, it's a nice strong line that there. It's kind of coming down, and then we've got this kind of effect there. And again, we'll check that because it's it's quite that's 
where his paw starts and that is just about here, here, just about here, that's where his paw starts, yeah, that'll be fine I think, and then here we can put this marker in here because that, that's a nice strong marking line for us there. That's that mark there. That's that. It's coming out just about there. That's it. Then we've got a nice line coming down there. And then all these are very kind of well, that's the that's the mass. That's the white mass. Okay, what we'll do is we'll try the blending sample here and I'll show you what. What, what it will do because um, I think the colour shaper the thing like a paintbrush um, they do blend it but they, they keep the, all the strong lines too why they're perfect for eyes because you need the you don't want them too blended otherwise you won't see all the different colours they all just go into each other uh, which is, is not what you want really blue in here, in this end here, a bit of a dusty look to it. Change this, we can get some white in here and make this a bit, a bit creamier. Be exact but if you've got nice lines like I said before just use them because you know why wouldn't you really there's a bit of yellowness in here scratches poor yeah and then here we'll do this in yellow because it's kind of fluffy uh, some grey on, on this after. So as long as you've got that right there, it's going to be very good. Just soften it off a bit. And then we'll get this yellowness in here. No, that's wrong. 
see what's happening here. This grey is going up here. So we'll, we better get that in because I nearly lost that then. Getting carried away with the yellow, you see. It comes up a bit here and then it's up. And that, that marker there will be that point. That red white bit there, I think. So, no, it's up. It's quite going up. And then it's going across. So just get it in roughly there. This, this line here is these, these hairs going up to this point here. That's why I put those in there. And so this, this line can go in, but there is a bit of yellow in it, but we need to make sure that that, that is there. Because the yellow is kind of come in here. It's kind of coming into that bit there, which is why that's there, see? That's why I put that there. See what I mean? You can easily get lost and this is why if you take a bit of care with your lines when you're tracing, it will save you a lot of time, a lot of making mistakes and having to go back on things and um, yeah, it's really bad doing. Definitely learned the hard way there, thinking oh yeah I know where that is going, but I didn't. And um, yeah, so I'm looking now very carefully here because there's a dark bit here, and that's starting just the other side of his lips there. Oh, I think it's there, that dark bit that's coming like that, straight down, straight down there, and then across. That's it there. It doesn't matter that it's a bit strong, we can soften that off easy, easily. This, yeah, this has come right there and then, yeah, needs to come like that. You can get this in dark and then it'll give it another, it'll give it a lot of dimension. It'll give it a lot of 3D effect then. show that his ruff is really definitely in front of his chin. Don't worry about the little bits, we could just go over that. See, we could just go over that and just lighten that bit up a little bit if we want. But this has got to be kept very dark in this corner. very white there. It's going up very white there. And then it's coming, yeah. Then it's coming this way, up here. Such a beautiful picture this. Really, just beautiful. Really nice. Didn't need to be blue. All of this down here has some blue on it. Uh, all of this will have some blue in it because it's in the dark and it'll make it look nice. Just the merest hint of white will just leave showing. That will be blue. Then they've got lovely little white, white bits that will just pick out. This is like a, doing a puzzle really, it's like doing a puzzle, You're getting all the bits to to go where they, they fit. Okay, so we need some, this is, this is good, all this, we can leave the paper there. Um, here, there's some very dark bits, so I'm going to put some dark bits in, black. There's some bits 
just need to go back in. So you're thinking like this. You can think in the mob a bit. Just put them there for now. We'll look at those after. Um, going right in there. Mm. Be careful when it goes in smoothly with black and then you go over white. So. chin there, it's about here, and then these, this is quite black, put the black bits in here, just put them in, spread them over, streets going over so just leave those very black here very 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 black so go for it there that they are here but we'll just do them up because they're going to be following those just put them in don't worry about the edge so much now you can do that in a sec there's a black bit on the edge there this is the quickest way I've found to do theirs It's all going to be bitty, that's going to be blue, that's going to be like a yellowy blue. Uh, that needs to come like that. And then it's going up. Just do what exactly what you see in the picture. You know, you can't, if you try and guess it, you're doing it the hard way. Just copy, just copy what you see. That's going up a bit. That's a little bit thinner there. And then those hairs are coming this way. If you look at your picture, you'll see, you'll see what I mean there. about to see the marks that I ne nearly managed to rub off with my hand. Just like that. And there. And little patches. like it's all coming together a bit here now so 
this is up here we've got the yellow bits coming up here just put them in a little that's very light that, that's that little light bit there um, then these are quite yellow aren't they so while well, they're green you can get those in just just for now just get them in very loosely it's a bit we're going to need a bit of orange or something in there just put those in for now. Just put the patches in. Don't have to be perfect. Then um, we've got the black coming through here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that in. Just look at the way the line is coming up here. It's kind of coming at an angle here, really. And it's just the other side of his mark that goes down. It's just here. Just about here. That's where it starts. So we've got quite long hair coming up here. That's my half an hour. <laughs> I have to do this because the videos get so long and it takes ages to um, edit them. And uh, I'm just trying to keep on track here. Okay. See you later. I'm going to stop the video and come right back.